and welcome back to Visit File Coast. This is a three go talk video and it starts it starts with a little bit of a different setting because I thought we might as well show you where to get how to get there, not where to get there. So I've got my assistants with me. Hello, hello boys. Hello. hello. Hello boys. Hello boys. So this is the A585 which is the main road from the motorway network, the M55 motorway network, down to the coast. So behind us is the beautiful metropolis of Cleveland, and in front of us is sort of the motorway if you were to carry on. And we're coming up to the River Wire Junction. So it's known as that because number one, it's next to the River Wire, and number two, it's known by the pub of the same name. And did you know, boys, did you know that the River Wire pub is the only pub in Britain named after a river? Really? No. There you go, you see. Every day is a school day. Where did you learn that one? In Mr Nick Moore's Marvellous Almanac, really? I believe. Yes, 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 yes. Which you can find on the website. You can, you can find it on uh, Visit Fowl Coast. So you'll have noticed all these roadwork signs while I'm prattling. And this is for the new bypass road that they're building. Don't ask me what they're building. I try to keep away from it wherever I possibly can. What are they building? I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm, well, it, it's a mystery to me at the moment. Um, suffice it to say that there's, there's a lot of cones. There's a lot of cones in deployment. I'm sure at some point we will go and investigate. We'll, we'll, I'll take you for a drive one day and we'll go and investigate. Ooh. That'd be exciting, wouldn't yeah. it? <coughs> Take you for a drive up to M55 and back home. <laughs> oh, at least you're bringing me back home. <laughs> yeah, that's that's an improvement. So on my notes on the Visit Cleveland's website, this is the River Wire pub up here, this big cream one. And this used to be a roundabout, although at the moment it's just a flat blob. Oh, I know, and I'm not quite sure exactly what they're doing with it. So this is the junction that you take, and if you wanted to go to Skipple, which is that curious little place, you go down this first, first right here, just before the pub. Lovely little place, we will go there another day, when it's a little bit warmer. So Visit Cleveland tells you to follow the A585 to the Riverwire Hotel, which is the bit that we've just done, and then follow the signs for Stanner Country Park. And this, I believe, is the B5412. Who knew that? So it's a very pretty, windy country road, which you might feel like you've completely gone completely the wrong way and you're going to end up right in the middle of nowhere. Well, we're going to the bank of the river, so you do kind of go through the middle of nowhere. So Derek, T-boy, has never been, have you, T-boy? No. Have you been T-boy in training? Yes. You've been. Well, do you remember how to get there? No. <laughs> yes, no. Yes, no. Yes, no. No, while we're on the subject, you know, you said you take a, a ride to Skipple. Yes. And I'm not doing any advertising, honestly. This is just my interest. Have you done any paintings of Skipple? Yes. Yes, there is one. On the Seaside Emporium website. Yeah, could do with doing some more. Yeah, we'll have yeah. to go and you can do some painting as well. Yeah. So this is Thornton, and there you go, you can see the brown sign for Wire Estuary Country Park. So we know we're going the right way, sort it's of. Road. It's quite windy, it's quite windy, windy. And eventually we're going to come to a little roundabout, and at that roundabout you said to think, right, that's it, I'm definitely lost. But no, you're not lost, and I'm going to show you how to get there. These houses are all new as well. They are, aren't they? Chucking them up there. The last time I came down here was when we went to Nepps Farm. Yes, which is right next to the banks of the river. So it very much feels like you're going to the middle of nowhere. And I think the roundabout is here, if I remember rightly. It's very nice down here. Very, uh, very um, country-ish. But of course, close to Blackpool and all the rural is the all word the amenities. That's the word T by your training. Rural. It's rural. It's very pretty. And I think 
this is Standard Primary School on the right hand side. <coughs> and I think, here we go. Now, when I say roundabout, yeah. it's perhaps a little bit of an exaggeration. So we're going to turn right here. Donut. At the church. Oh, there's a little, little bike lesson in going Cornwall, on there. We used to call these Down Stanner Road. Road. Now, at this point, the first time I went, I thought, where on earth am I? I'm lost. I've gone the wrong way. I've got no idea where I'm going. But no, we are going the right way. I bet, bet T Boy thinks I'm taking him to Timbuktu. There you go, another brown sign. Yeah, all the brown sign. Another brown sign. Now it's a while since I went, so I'm going to need to think about this a little bit. And I think here the brown sign stop, which is not very helpful at all. And I'm indicating, and I don't really need to because I think, yeah, it's down the road. So you carry straight on here, carry straight on here, and then it all starts to get. Would you like me to look at the map in the back? Very rural. Oh, no. no. <laughs> While you're looking. No, While no, you're, you're all right. I'm going right way. I'm going the right way. This is dog walking land down here. You'll know you're there when the, the wheels get when, wet. Exactly when the water starts splashing round the wheels at the back. You know you're in the there country you go, now. another brown sign, Popo, Popo on the right. <laughs> and this is Wire Estuary Country Park. So there is a car park. I mean, well, you need a car to get to it really. It's not advisable unless you're very local and you're very knowledgeable and you very well know your way around. Please do not try and find it on foot because I would hate for anybody to end up getting washed under a under a jet ski. So that's Nepp's farm on the left. Used to be. It's now called Water's Edge Country Park. Oh, is it? Yes. Right, okay. And this is River where Road. we're going. This is the car park. So I thought I'd show you how to get there because if you were coming to it for the first time, oh. I think oh. you'd say, ah, I'm lost. Turn around, go back. There you go. We're here. It's a cafe, toilets. We're going we're down to the other side. Uh, this side. So on Google Maps it says why are Estuary Country Park as busy as it gets? Yes, exactly. And proper tarmac and all the rest of it. So Straight we've ahead. got Wellington boots in the boot. And we're gonna go and take you for a walk. Is that why you put them in boots? Probably a bit like tanks at Tankers Land. Tanks tank. So this is this is the river wire that you can see in front of you, and that windmill will be the one at the tip at Fleetwood at the sewage Recy works. The recycling. Yes. Will it not? Yeah. Yeah. This is where it gets very This is where Kevin says not too close to car beside you. So I have a clue, and his brother <coughs> have walked off and left me while I'm busy faffing about with my stuff. The visitor centre and toilets and all the buildings are over there. As you can see, this is the car park and this is the slipway. So we've got our Wellington boots on, which is a bit of a challenge in itself when you've got a tummy as big as mine to bend down over. So this is one of the tributaries that comes off and this is the slip for launching jet skis and boats and things like that. There is a series of Harbour Master. I, I, I think I know this one. <laughs> Look at Kevin. <laughs> there is a series, I think somebody shot him, either that or he's gone to sleep. There is a series of Harbour Master rules and regulations that you need to follow when you're using the slipway. So whatever you do, please be number one, careful, and number two, considerate of everybody else that's using it around you because we don't want any accidents and we don't want people being antisocial because as you can see it's a lovely quiet place this is that group of kids lot that we passed when we were in the car now then t -boy in training did you get sick of waiting for me i, I am preparing for the road ahead it's a marathon not a sprint <laughs> <laughs> He looks, he looks like he's laid out in his coffin. I'm just saving my <laughs> 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 Oh, 
And I'll bring you a, a, a sleeping bag and you can sleep there tonight. So that's the lovely view. That's the wind turbine that I'd just pointed out. So at the back of there is the sewage works in Freeport and the dock and whatnot. Just trying to see if I can work out what that building is. It, that's that's full zoom on my super duper camera. Mount. So that's the mount. That must be the mount. That must be the mount pub. That must be the mount pub. I really don't know. And all of the perspective of everything that you're looking at all changes when you get onto this river because it's just confusing. <laughs> it goes down and then it goes round. It curves and, it and bends round and again. rounds and whatnot. So what's this over the other side then? Is this Wardley's or? Wardley's is over there, I think. Right, so we're not we're not far enough round yet. No. So there's all these lovely pathways. So I suppose technically we didn't need our our wellies on, but I know that for a fact if we'd Oh, Wardley's. Take you to Wardley's and leave you there. Yeah. I know nothing about Wardley's. <coughs> it's a TV programme. Oh, listen to the birds twittering. Isn't that lovely? And just over the other side of there well, is the a children's playground. Look, look, is the kids' playground. But we'll have a look at all them when we come back the other way. Now, we've just got to the next little bit of footpath, which takes us round a corner. And I just noticed a log which I thought looked like a fox. Mm. Mm. My glasses are cleaner than yours. Let's see what you think. <laughs> drop, drop your suggestions in the comments underneath. I'll turn the thing round and then you can have a look. Now then, what do you think? What do you think to that? Basil brush. Boom boom. <laughs> boom boom. Yeah. Oh. oh yeah. <laughs> oh boom, god. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> I think that looks like a fox. We just came round this corner then and the sun's on it. So Kevin stands in the middle of the zone. Oh, it's my dad, sorry. I take that back. I'm blaming you again. Completely unfounded. Broad shoulders. I think that looks like a fox. It's got a good imagination. So we've walked, we've walked round this corner. So this is sort of Fleetwood down here and the river. And we're off round. Zoom through we're at, oh, that gap. Oh, right, OK, OK. Zoom, Zoom through, through gap. the gap. What? Right through the gap. Right through the gap. Oh, that is really creative. Right that. through the gap. There you go. That's fabulous. I could be Spielberg. <laughs> what do you think to that, Robert? I've got a, I've got a friend in Canada. I think you're in Canada, aren't you? Pa apologies if I'm uh, telling everybody that you're in the wrong country. Who's been giving me tips? So what did you, what I did you think to that? What did you spot? Have you lost him? Yeah. When the red, red robin you know, it's not when Ivy, pop, it's Holly. Ivy. It's Holly. Oh, listen to that bird. It's up here. Oh, what a lovely noise. That just makes you feel like summer's coming. There's one over there. Let's see if we can catch him. Hello. Oh, he's flown off. Oh, I want, oh, he's there. I can just see him. Oh, he's here. He's just come back on the fence. He's just come back on the fence a little bit further up. Oh, that's beautiful. Wonder if Batman's around anywhere. That just absolutely gorgeous. Go on, go on, lad. Let rip. Let's hear you singing. It looks as if he's thinking. It looks as if he's thinking about it. I can see his. Um, Throat wiggling. We've not brought any nibbles for them again. 
slipped up then, didn't we? We should have brought some mealworms. In my experience, they'll do anything for a mealworm. Oh, they lovely. Catkins. Catkins, look. Wow. That's the sign that spring's coming, look. Let me just get me focus right. I think I've... What am I focusing on here? Just a second. Let's get the, the catkins. Ooh, that's very blurred. It's better. Oh. Catkins. Oh. You see, so much. So, oh, I've got all of it funny. So much, so much pleasure to be had from something so simple, so simple. Yeah, and and where we lived before, you see, we always used to be walking in woods and what have you, and 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 there's a lot to see here. Yeah? You can see the sea, but you can't see the woods. When Jane was a little girl, yesterday, we used yeah. to spend hours in Woolwell Woods, trudging around, pushing a push chair, and picking bits up, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Finger. Yes, the finger. We've got. A, I'll, I'll show you on uh, Brewer Tool. We've got a lovely photograph of me wagging my finger. I'll put it on the Brewer Tool Facebook group for all your regulars. Can you hear the electricity buzzing as it's going through all these wires on the pylon? So, T boy, you used to live near a power station, didn't you? Literally. At the end of our back garden was the power station in Penwitham that used to power Blackpool Illuminations and all these pylons as big as this used to take all the power out down the ribble and uh, when we were of a certain age we used to see how far we could climb before we got caught. Up the pylon? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and how far did you get then? Not very far. No, I don't think you'd get past. I don't think you'd get past this. that barbed wire. No, they, they <laughs> actually. Were designed for this. There was more metal work. Well, they would have been very old, wouldn't they? Yeah, very old. <laughs> oh, can you imagine me climbing that? Can you just imagine? Can you just imagine? Not on your life, and the wires going that way. Good old days. So these. These are all um, based at Stanner at the electricity stub, stub station. It's the stub station, Kevin. <laughs> and they've got to be that high to take the cables across the wire, just in case a very big boat comes. <laughs> <laughs> I think it'd need to be, well, a very, very, very big boat. So I sort of walked, walked a little way up the... What's that over there? Is that... What's that building through the, Where? through the trees? Where? Over there, over the. Looks quite. Zoom, Derek, zoom. Looks quite push. It doesn't look like a domestic building. I would say they were solar panels. Don't know. On, on roof. I don't know. So we're going that way. We're going this way, so I think next stop we might be able to see Shard Bridge. I'm not sure, but I think we might be going the right way. You think it's what? I think it's Cozy Cats Boarding Cattery. T-Boy thinks it's a school. So we've not only got electricity over our heads, we've also got a gas pipeline. Me being weird, me being weird, you know I always read planning applications and strange notices and things like that. So I've just I've just spotted the sign here. So there you go, Kevin, you can plug yourself in. No, I'm still looking. Still looking. Plug yourself into what? Gas pipeline. If I can provide gas. <laughs> <laughs> Right, viewers, we've got an argument to solve here. T-Boy says, that's the cattery at the back of there. T-Boy in training says, that is the Riverside 
chalets. This one. This one. The posh looking buildings because yeah. there's a caravan site there and there's a houses to the left. Well, I've got to say, they do look more like chalets to me. Let's zoom in and have a look. Cattery, and the cattery that I was talking about was over the back of it. They look more like holiday chalets than a cattery. Chalets. Chalets. And look at this boat as well. I know, I could do with that, the... I could do with that boat in Queens, couldn't we? Fetch it then. These little caravans here, the red brick buildings at the back are the cattery. Right, just a minute. I disagree with that as well. And this is, this saying. is what T-Boy reckons it is. Red brick buildings where? At the back of the thing, you can only yeah. see a little bit. Yeah. T-Boy reckons Sorry. that the is at the back of there and this, if you have just carry on a little bit further, is Wardless Creek. Centre shot now. There's nothing here, yeah, but it goes right in. Nothing in domestic. Hang on a minute. There's a creek there which is showing clearly on Google Maps. I'm, I'm sort of like with it and with technology, so I've got me, I've got me, I've got me data Go switched on, on. Go on then. So that there is the like like you said the Wardless Creek. Yeah. And there, look, up there. Yeah. So Wardless Yacht Club. And the Cozy Cattery is just where you said there. That's right. Right, the only one way to. Oh, okay. <laughs> it helps when you put your phone the right way around. <laughs> it? it's, it's not that I'm right, but I'm always right. <laughs> so this is Cockle Hall picnic area. The remains of an old orchard of mainly damson trees that belong to Cockle Hall's mortal bedroom cottage that used to stand among the trees. It's believed to have housed a family of 13. There you go. That's Wardley's over there. And it was part of the Port of Poulton along with Skipple, which I did know, which I did know. And, it's, and that's also on, that's also on our website as well. Skipple is a lovely, quaint little place, and we should be, we should be going investigating. I'll just take a little, a little walk down here. A little walk down here, because this is all salt marsh. Still can't see Shad Bridge. Shad Bridge must be round there somewhere. I think. <laughs> what, and then I get washed away? It's a lovely. These two look... These two look dodgy. Um, I don't know, they might have been. They might have been, and there's little picnic areas dotted all over. You might as well put tide times on. Yeah, tide oh, times. While you're there. Tide times. There you go. Beware the tide affects this path. Oh, that's a spelling mistake. That should be affects this path. Tot tot. And there's the tide times there, love, for January. And then they're changed. So what date is it today? 30, 30th, isn't it? Monday the 30th of January when we were filming this, so high tide was at 5.44 this morning. And the next one is at... Quarter past six. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> she says, I didn't up to work out a 24 hour clock. <laughs> anyway, do you want to, there you go, you you can to jump in one of these fiddle, puddles paddle. things you've got poo on you? Well, I don't think I have. They thought I'd, they thought I'd clobbered her. Clobbered a turd, as you might say. <laughs> <laughs> with my specialist, with my specialist poor knowledge, so I shall, I shall wiggle my wellies and make sure that I haven't got anything alien. Kevin wanted me to go like that and jump. I think these two are trying to drown me. Oh, 
Oh, it looks murky. Did you see that then? There's like bubbles coming up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you, you've got to, all joking apart, you've, if you come round here, you've got to be so, so careful. Yeah, she obviously, she obviously knows where she is and knows where to go. Cedric. Cedric Robinson, was he not? So, oh, well, let's have a sit down on this lovely little bench, shall we? Why? Oh. <gasps> you got a wet bum. Oh well. Oh well. Maybe not. Maybe maybe there's no. Maybe there's no sitting down today. I've got to say, it's lovely. Fields are nice, aren't they? Fields and trees. It's a long time since we saw fields and trees. Everywhere we go, always beaches and sea. So I wonder if that's brackish salt water or whether it's fresh Ooh. it's probably a bit of a mixture of well, both that be what's come in through the channels last high tide or it might be what's draining out from inland Aye, I'm, I'll go with that one. <laughs> you know when you were little and your mum told you to beware strange men yeah. in the undergrowth well that's the strange man i'd just come down here to be all artistic and photograph these grasses the minute I pointed the camera at them, the wind started blowing. And just at the side of them, look, there's this water coming up. It looks as if it's coming out of a spring. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. I think there might be a pipe underground there. I think there's a... Kevin! Don't try this at home. You're an idiot, aren't you? No, I think it's from underground. Is it? Yeah. Try not to. Have an accident. Try, try to get back to where you were, please. Back to my grasses. So this is the footpath we've just come back on. This is the play area that we passed earlier. I'm not going to film that because there are children playing on it. And then this, over here, is the visit... I know oh this one. This is the visitor centre and the toilets and the cafe down this way and back into the car park. I think T-Boy has gone the other way. I think he's cut the corner off. So I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope you've enjoyed that little walk around and listen to the birds. He's up here, look. He's a little robin. I don't know if you can just see him sitting there. Right in the centre shop. That's lovely. Ooh. Wobble, wobble. Right. That's your afternoon out with Trouble times three. Pardon? 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 He's not paying the slightest bit of attention. That's been really nice, that. Just a nice, a nice simple walk and a breath of January sunshine to brighten you up. It's been a, a cold, dark winter. So this is the... I think this one's the cafe in the toilet block and this is the visitor centre here. Just go under the gate and show you. There you are. Oh, no, sorry, take that back. This is the toilets, this little building here. And that bottom one's the cafe. And it's free parking. Can't really say much, much fairer than that, can you? So, until next time, we will see you again. Bye for now.